There it goes. Hi. Hey, everyone. How are y'all doing? Hey, everyone. For some reason, it seems a bit darker than usual. I've got all the lighting. Anyways, hey, y'all. Y'all get super, like, chill Amanda today. Like, I showered this morning, I just pulled my hair up, got my sweatshirt on, pajama pants, slippers. It's 12 degrees outside. 12, and it's been snowing for the past six days. Oh, yes, Bethany. Oh, is it snowing right now? I don't know. Let's take a little field trip and see. Of course, I set all this up. And now I'm probably going to like mess it up. Go ahead, the door. It's not snowing right now, but we've got several inches. Backyard. Just like that. So it's not snowing right now, but it has snowed for the past like six days. And it's 12 degrees right now. And the low is like six. Six. <laughs> We're supposed to wake up to like six degree temps tomorrow. I, I don't mind the snow. I like the snow. But um, the temps could go up. <laughs> um, I like, uh, in all honesty, I love cold weather. I love cold weather m far more than I do hot weather or warm weather. Because you can put on tons and tons of clothes. You can only take so much off. But um, this is super cold. Like, I don't even want to leave the house cold. And fortunately, um, I don't have to leave the house too often. So, anyway, yep. It's cold. <laughs> so, y'all get super chill, Amanda, this evening. Um, hope y'all had a great weekend. It was beyond crazy here. Um, I don't think it made national news, but we had quite the, um, spectacle and event on Saturday. Um, started about, I guess, 3, 3.30 o'clock, um, 3, 3.30 a.m. Saturday morning. A guy, um, about, well, a guy, um, tried to rob the gun cabinet, gun supplies or whatever at Walmart and they told him he couldn't do it at that time. He needed to wait till you know the, you know, when the you know regular hours I guess came on. And he wasn't happy with that. He tried to rob him, break the case, all that stuff. And um got in his car, drove across the street, rammed his vehicle into the locally owned sporting goods store and stayed in there. He was the only person, fortunately. But um, this lasted until like 2, 2, 30, 3 o'clock that afternoon. It was cuckoo crazy. Um, and this is about like a mile, a little bit mi over a mile from our house. Like I could walk to Walmart if I wanted to. I could walk to our Walmart if I wanted to. And this is like directly across the street from Walmart. So, um, that's how close it was. Um, but this guy barricaded himself inside of this sporting goods store. And, um, inside this sporting goods store is, um, food and clothes and, um, guns and ammunition. And he was set up. So, um... Exchange, you know, gunfire with police officers quite a, um, quite a bit, and they um, ended up having to send a SWAT team in, and they exchanged gunfire. And upon them coming out, they waited for about 30 minutes or so, and um, sent a drone in to see if, in the exchange of gunfire, he had been killed. And I think the drone, of course, you know, showed them that. Um, he was dead. So it was over at that point. But um, 
it's such a small, t I mean, Billings is a pretty decent sized city. Um, it's maybe a third the size of Birmingham. Um, so, when you think about that, I mean, it's, um, it's just one of the things you, when you think that it's not going to happen, you know, in your town or it's not going to happen near you, and then it does, it's just such a, you know, just, you know, just makes you realize it can happen anywhere. Anyway, though, um, all that said and done, poor husband worked like a 14 hour day that day, and um, a lot of his reporters got their first like breaking news, like legit breaking news um, experience. So, um, unfortunately, the only person injured, the only um, death was the suspect. So, um, that's good. So, la 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 la. On to a lighter note. Okay, y'all. Tonight, it's Monday. Um, <laughs> we've got the butterscotch martini. Butterscotch is one of my favorite flavors. I love butterscotch almost anything. Butterscotch, I like butterscotch. And I've learned recently that quite there's a bunch of people that don't like butterscotch. Which is weird. I like butterscotch. Anyways, we're going to do the butterscotch um, martini, and then, um, I'm calling it, I mean, front door decor, I guess. I kind of crafted this up in my head. Like I said, in my head, it works. I found the supplies. In my head, I have a vision of what it's supposed to look like. We will see what happens when we do it. <laughs> um... I did this a lot when I was a teacher. I was like, ooh, we gotta build a bar and let's do it, I can do it. And I'd grab, you know, a bunch of the supplies, start doing it, it'd fall apart, it didn't happen. So hopefully that didn't happen this evening. But um, anyway, before we get started, I wanna guys, remind you guys, um, you can find Martinis of Amanda on YouTube where I share all of these videos that I do. Um, Pinterest, where I pin a bunch of the pins that I share on the page. Um, Instagram. And then, of course, here on Facebook. Go and like those pages, share them with your friends, um, help me out. Um, second thing, do me a favor, and if you are on Pinterest and have liked Martinis with Amanda, send me the pins that you want me to try. Um, I'm always up for ideas. I'm always up for trying something. So if you see something that is um, pretty neat or um, something that you think others would you know, enjoy, send it my way. Let me know, and um, I might do it during a Facebook Live. We'll see. And then um, also, of course, um, what do you need help organizing? Organizing is one of my favorite things to do. Like, I will go and empty my kitchen just to reorganize it. I'm one of those people that everything's got to come out before you put it back in. And you have to, you know, of course, organize it as it goes back in. So let me know what you need help organizing. Um, let me know what you want me to try. I am not afraid to try it here on Facebook Live because, well, it's either me here trying it on Facebook Live or you try it at home by yourself. And, well, we'll see. Anyway, here we go. Butterscotch martini. At first... I had the recipe for a butterscotch lifesaver martini, and at some point it became the butterscotch martini. So I'm not sure if it's the butterscotch lifesaver or the um, butterscotch, but either way, butterscotch something. You need a shaker with ice, of course. You need vodka. You need butterscotch schnapps, which has got to be one of my favorite schnapps flavors because um, it's just so versatile. I mean, caramel apple. I mean, yeah, I like butterscotch a lot. Anyways, you need butterscotch schnapps. You need dark cream de cacao. 
Then you need clear or white cream de cocoa. So one is cocoa, one is cacao. I don't know why I just learned that a few weeks ago, but I did. So you need white and dark. And then you, well, vodka. I said that, I think. Um, there's that schnapps, vodka, cream de cocoa, and cream de cacao. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Shake it with ice. Now, the um, typically, I like to do like really, really, really simple, and everything's like equal parts, but um, it is not quite equal parts this evening. Um, cream de cacao is two parts, which I think is basically chocolate flavoring, cocoa flavoring. Then you need, and that is like super chocolatey, chocolatey um, smelling. You need two parts, white, cream de cacao, cocoa, cacao, see. You need the clear stuff, two parts of it. You need one and a half parts, uh oh, can't get it open, here we go. One and a half parts butterscotch schnapps. If you are a fan of Big Bang Theory, one of my favorite lines is when Penny is like super, super, super drunk and I think she's got Leonard drinking with her and um, he's like, peppermint schnapps. Why do you like peppermint schnapps? And she's like, because schnapps is fun to say. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm a huge Big Bang fan. And then you need a part and a half of um, vodka. And hopefully it smells butterscotchy, but that doesn't mean it will taste butterscotchy. I'm going to shake it up. In fact, I think it's supposed to like shake it like this or something. I don't care. It's just supposed to get cold. I don't know why above your head or anything would matter. But, um, wow. It looks butterscotchy. Hopefully it tastes butterscotchy. And again, guys, if you have a um, martini you think I should try, please send it my way. I've got loads and loads and loads of martinis bookmarked. But um, if there's something you think I should try, please send it my way. That's good. That's really good. That's like, tastes like butterscotch. That's it. You can't taste the vodka. You can't taste anything else. It's butterscotch. <laughs> you know, in fact, it tastes like if you um, had bought the bag of um, like butterscotch chips that you know you would use for baking, that's what it tastes like. So, very good. All right, tonight, oh, I forgot to turn on the glue gun. So, hmm, hopefully that does not slow us down any. Hey, tonight, if you guys saw my post yesterday, um, I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday morning to look for something, and um, they still had some of these. They also had um, leaves and owls, um, which, of course, I think these are supposed to be like placemats or whatever, but I found something that was, I saw a, um, kind of saw... Some inspiration I guess of some kind and um, in my head this is going to work we don't know if it will but anyways run to your Dollar Tree if you want to try this and like I said it's a dollar everything this evening hopefully is or everything this evening is Dollar Tree items so um, one of these and then of course um, you may need some orange felt if you want that you need a wire hanger I um hate wire hangers. They typically are not in my house, 
but I always save one because when you are really into crafting, you never know when you're going to need it. So, um, I have a wire hanger, so you need that. You need, um, green felt. You need, um, they've got rolls of burlap in your, at Dollar Tree. You need burlap. And then you need, um, leaves. Now, they have bags of these leaves, um, at the Dollar Tree. They, um, at one time, very briefly, had these leaves, and they're felt as well. They had these leaves at Dollar Tree very, um, briefly. I went back to get more, and they did not have more. So, leaves, and it doesn't matter what kind of leaves, leaves. You can make your own if you want, leaves. So, you need leaves, green felt, orange felt, pumpkin, wire hanger, hot glue gun that is hopefully warming up like it's supposed to, and you need burlap. So, since you can see through this, and it's the same on both sides, you can um, actually start building upside down. And what you're going to do is you are going to place your wire hanger, and I did not think to make sure that it was... Um, I'm going to lay flat. It does not look like it will. So, hopefully this... So, you want to make sure that it <coughs> is going to lay flat on the back of your pumpkin. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your hot glue gun and you're basically going to glue your hanger down. Glue it into place which way you want it to um, sit. And we're going to um, brace it here in a minute that way so we can you know make sure that it um, stays where it's supposed to. And I'm going to try and do this left handed. I am not a left handed kind of per person. And anyways, hold it down while it dries. So what do y'all want to chat about while this, you know, clings into place? <laughs> so, um, anyway, so you're going to glue all that into place. Glue your hanger on the back. Now, this is basically going to be an alternative to a wreath. It's basically a wreath, but um, instead of being the circular wreath or needing a... Um, for you to do ribbon or something on the back to hang it. Um, basically your hanger is what you are going to hang on to your wreath hanger. So this is a nice alternative um, to your basic, you know, circular wreath. And the one thing I hate most about glue guns is those random glue strings that go all over the place. So, reason why I suggest getting some orange felt is because you are going to um, cut some strips to um, put on the back. That way so you can basically add some additional um, support. That way, so if for some reason it needs just a little bit more than, you know, just the hanger attached to the, um, the pumpkin itself, you can take some felt and glue it down. Also, in my head, if I'm one of those people that if you were to hang this up, the first thing I see is that line right there. So if you want, you can take um, your felt, find the same color felt, and cut strips long enough 
and you know fill in those holes that way so you don't see that um, open space basically and then this weird random you know line going through and like I said you do not have to um, do this at all but this is additional support that um, will keep it from falling off the um, hanger do that one and I'm going to do one more I'm not sure where Y'all, I see people joining me, so please say hello if you are joining. One thing about, like I said last week about Facebook is that um, it tells me that there's new people coming in, but the, um, but the numbers don't shift, or they do, and it's not necessarily um, accurate. But I do want to um, acknowledge anybody that is watching and be able to answer any questions that you guys have. So if you're watching, say hey. Let me know. Anyways, so I am putting just a tad bit more support here on the back. And call it let that dry for just a second now while we let that dry I am going to show you guys the next um, step so throw that all the way um, if you want to make leaves for your um, pumpkin you can cut out any shape you want and glue it down flat if you want to let me show you. Do just a basic leaf shape like that. You can. That's fine. Like I said, crafting is every, I mean, whatever you want in your head. Um, this is the leaf that I made for this evening. This is what I'm going to show you guys how to do. So, what you're going to do is, again, it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. All you have to do is be able to look at it and say, that's a leaf. And if you think about it, if this is on your front door and people are driving by, what are they going to see? They're going to see a pumpkin with leaves on it. Does it, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it doesn't. They're not going to see detail. So, just cut you out a leaf shape, but leave a you know straight edge on the bottom. What you're going to do is um, put a little bit in the middle, fold the middle together, but leave two flaps out, just like that. And it's getting very warm in my fingers. And then what you're going to do is you are going to. Um, Put a dot of glue right there, glue that flap down, and then you are going to do the same on the other side. I probably burn myself far more than the regular person with a glue gun. I'm not that coordinated with a glue gun at all. And there's your leaf. It's going to dry. And you, it's going to leave you with that, you know, little crease like a leaf or whatever. So, there's your leaf. So, if that's if you want to go that route, you can. But, um, again, you don't have to because this is your project. You make it the way that you um, envision it. So, we have glued our hanger to the back. Now, we're going to flip it over to the side. And, um... First thing we're going to do is you're going to take that burlap that you can buy, and they have all different colors. They had um, bright, uh, they had bright green, they had a dark green, they had a bright red, they had a dark red. Then they had this regular, you know, khaki burlap color. Um, there are a couple other colors, maybe, but um, either way, they have burlap at the Dollar Tree. So, I mean, you're looking like at a five, six dollar craft, just like that. So, 
All you're going to do is you're going to take your burlap and you are going to cut it into um, the size strips that you want. And what we're doing is we are making a banner that goes across the front. So cut the same size pieces that you want all the way. If seven letter, you do gather, welcome, um, family, um, whatever you want, um, however many letters you need. And then what I did was I have loads and loads and loads of fun foam letters laying around. So what I did was I um, took a fun foam letter and I pushed it into the color paint that I wanted, which was kind of a burgundy color, and then just pressed it onto my um, burlap. Let it dry. And then I glued some twine, which you can also get at the Dollar Tree, um, to the back. That way, so I have a little banner that says welcome. Really, it's that simple. So, and then it's a matter of just positioning it where you want it to go. And I do have um, the twine on it still because I was not sure exactly where I wanted to position it. And then once you decide where you want it to go, let me make, I have a tendency to do this really quick. So a lot of times it ends up kind of sloppy. So anyways, then you put your glue to glue it down on both sides. Don't let the glue come through the burlap because it's really hot. <laughs> and then, um, of course, do it on the other side. Just like that. I'm going to cut off this additional twine that I have. And then, the next step is those leaves that hopefully, now I haven't quite decided if two or three will look better. I put a crap ton of glue there. Yep, crap ton is an actual unit of measurement, if you didn't know. <laughs> so, anyway. This is what it looks like so far. So now what I'm going to do is see if those leaves, I just showed you guys how to make, I'm going to put, I'm going to glue directly onto my um, pumpkin. And like I said, I've played around with this for the past couple of days. I'm not sure which, um, is better. <sighs> and I'm horrible about making decisions. I'm so like indecisive when it comes to um, actually <laughs> putting it all together because I, don't, I mean I honestly don't know why. Anyways, let's see. I'm gonna stick this guy right here. So I'm gonna stick a little bit of glue right there let him stick seriously y'all i am i that's something i struggle with the most in fact my husband laughed at me yesterday because um i'm making something for christmas and i have tons and tons of buttons in fact i should take a picture of the amount of buttons that i have i have tons and tons and tons of buttons I have tons and tons of green buttons. But yesterday, when I went to do this craft, I didn't have the right color green. So I went to Michael's to get buttons. Guess what? Came back home, 
it wasn't the white right color of green. So guess what that meant? I had to put clothes on again, leave the house, and go to Joanne's. Yep, went to Joanne's. And at that point, did I exactly find the color green that I needed? Nope, I didn't. But I found the green closest to what I could probably use. But it still drove me nuts because I did not find the exact color green that I wanted. And unfortunately, that's a lot of times what ends up stopping me in crafts because um, I have to have the exact match. I am not one of those people that can match um, random colors together. I cannot, um, I cannot, I'm not one of those people that has like an entirely, you know, blue outfit or an outfit that's blue with like pattern or whatever and then automatically knows to like throw a yellow cardigan on or a red cardigan or a red belt or, you know, something like that. I'm so matchy matchy that I, I something about that I cannot, it's very, very hard for me to um, do that. So, but it's something I'm working on because if you're going to work on something, you got to work on you. So, that's probably not the best, like I said, doing it quickly online. So, there are the green leaves. I need to stick a little bit more glue right here. That way so this guy can lay down. Of course, I'll probably have to add more glue here in a bit. Rosemary, but you've been doing so good. I mean, as much as I'm, ooh, I am not like a trendy person. Not at all. Y'all, these strings, glue stick strings drive me batty. I am um, not trendy at all. I want to be. I do so bad. But I am so super cheap. And um, I want to work with what I already have. And I know the items that I have are um, pretty good. I mean, they're good. But um, they could be better, of course. But, um, ooh, I'm so matchy-matchy. If it's a blue pattern, like I said, if it's a blue pattern and um, it's got black in it, I'm going to put a black top with it. I'm not going to go beyond that and do red or yellow. In my head, I know it works. I've seen pictures. I could take the exact same outfit and put it all together. In my head, it does not work. It just, yeah. So, seriously, butterscotch martini. All right, so, I got that all put together. The last thing we have now to add is our oh it's already 603 really oh my um is our leaves and all you're going to do is you're going to add them across the bottom y'all don't mind me going a little bit past 30 minutes to y'all i mean Just figure out a placement that works for you. Stick some hot glue. I like hot glue because guess what? It's fast. And, um, I mean, for the most part, hot glue doesn't give away unless of course I mean I think that if it were like under extreme cold conditions like Montana is right now I 
Um, Y'all, I'm seriously just throwing this together right now because I just realized that I've already been talking and doing stuff for 30 minutes. So hopefully this comes out okay. If not, like I said, it's dollar store items and I'm out like a couple bucks. Yes, Riley is. I let him out right before we um, started this. I always try to let him out. And um, for some reason, he is scavenging. It's not for some reason. He's got um, this Cushing's, and this Cushing's makes him believe that he is um, hungry 24-7. So he's scavenging. <laughs> so, guess what? For the most part, you're done. Of course, if you want, you could go back. And add more leaves on the bottom if you want. But for the most part, you're done. So put your wreath hanger up on your door. You have your um, wire hanger on the back. So then all you have to do is hang it. And there is your dollar store, fall, Thanksgiving, door, decor. So, like I said, I've already um, took, taken up like 30 minutes time. I try not to let these things go far past 30 minutes. So, um, <laughs> unless of course you guys enjoy them. And I will, um, of course, do what you guys um, want to do. So, with all that being said, next week I'm doing a salted caramel martini. And we are doing, um, next week's going to be all about beverages. Whole bu all about drinks and stuff. So, um... Do a salted caramel martini and then um, some winter drinks, punches that warm you up or you're able to um, serve at a party or gathering. They're not all alcoholic. Um, we're going to do a um, one that you can do in the crock pot, one that you can do um, just in a pitcher for um, a party or gathering or... Um, Another one that you can kind of mix ahead of time and have ready whenever you need to, you know, warm up or whatever. So, um, some winter warm up party gathering drinks kind of thing. Um, please, if you have any ideas, send me what you'd like to see in um, December because I've got all the weeks planned for December except for one. Facebook Live, and I need your ideas. So, um, if you have anything you'd like to see during a Facebook Live, send it my way. Send me your pins, your ideas, let me know. Um, yeah, I've got the majority of the Facebook Lives planned, and um, I need your ideas for that last one. And also, of course, going into the new year, let me know what you want to see in January. And um, I'll work on that. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. And um, the rest of your week goes wonderful. So, I love you guys. Have a great night. Bye.